Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping safe at the moment. What we're going to be doing in today's video is uh, expanding upon our previous video about filters for your drone, which ones you need and which ones to avoid. In this particular episode, what we're going to be doing is setting up our drone on a tripod and then holding different filters in front of the camera to see which ones work the best and which ones to avoid. So let's jump into the video. Okay, so what I've brought with me today is a selection of professional camera filters. Now these ain't uh, specific for drones, these are for your standard camera. Uh, but what this does give us is the ability to mount more than one filter at a time. So we can have an ND filter on, we can have a polarizing filter on, or we can join both together and use them at the same time to show you the benefits or disadvantages of each filter so let's get the drone set up on a tripod let's get our filters out and see what happens okay so we're at this rather lovely lake with some swans on it it's got a nice reflective surface a nice glare coming off it to see what the polarizer does in front of the drone okay so we've mounted the drone to the tripod so this is going to be our control Basically, every time we hold a filter in front of the camera, the drone is at exactly the same height, same distance away from the, the water. There isn't going to be any adjustments to it at all. The camera we're going to put into auto mode. So every filter isn't being judged by my eyesight. It's down to the electronics of the drone. And what we're going to be doing, we've got our filters down here. We have a little selection and what we're going to be doing we're just going to be holding the filter in front of the drone and then you can see the result of it what's good about these filters is we can mount more than one at a time so we can have an nd filter on its own a polarizer on its own an nd filter and a polarizer attached together and because the drone's not in the air we can quickly swap out and swap in different filters and show you the results of that on the lake and the sky okay let's go here i am during the testing making sure the filters cover the whole of the camera and making sure nothing else is in shot i recorded the whole video in one large 30 minute take so that the drone was never altered or moved so there you go guys we had the drone on the tripod to make sure it stayed in the right position for every filter we had the camera in auto mode so it automatically adjusts to the exposure itself rather than me trying to guess where it should be what i think the best way of doing this is i'm going to show you the four clips now one which has no filters one which has an nd on its own one which has a polarizer on its own and one which has an nd and polarizer put together and then you can what i'll do i'll mix them up not tell you which clip is which you can choose which one you think is the best and then i'll re reveal the results at the end so here is clip one clip two clip three And finally clip 4. I'm going to reveal the results straight after this clip, so if you want to watch them again, rewind now. Okay, here are the results. Clip 1 was an ND filter with a polarizer. Clip 2 was just an ND filter on its own. Clip 3 was just straight out of camera, no filters. And clip 4 was a polarizer on its own. So, was you able to guess which one was which? Could you tell the difference on the one that had the polarizer or not? Hopefully you should really with an ND filter you should see no difference at all between the image coming out of the camera uh, without a filter, without an ND filter and when you stick an ND filter on there should be no difference at all because we've got the camera in auto mode it's just adjusting the exposure, exposure for us so in theory you shouldn't see any difference suppose the real test is did you see a difference where the polarizers attached to the nd filters or the polarizer on its own 
I would suggest you probably didn't and it's far closer than what you think right hope you enjoyed that if you did give it a like down here on the side if you want to see more of my content why not subscribe to my channel and remember guys always stay awesome see you soon